Hi everyone, I'm Beth, and this is my Bubby's Florida Kitchen. And as you can see, we're going to Port St. Lucie to see the New York Mets. We're gonna tailgate with tacos. I like them on top of corn chips. Richie likes them on a soft tortilla. However you like your tacos, make these. Domino chili, we're going to a Mets game. Here's the ingredients. We have two tablespoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of coriander, two teaspoons of cumin, a half a teaspoon of paprika, and a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Can of Rotel, we've got a beautiful poblano pepper, olive oil, four cloves of garlic, onions, two pounds of chopped meat. We're gonna need water and apple cider vinegar, just a splash, three quarters of a cup of water. The toppings are gonna be tomatoes, cheddar cheese, cilantro, red onion, lettuce, sour cream. Richie likes them on soft tacos. I like them on top of Fritos, and of course, you always need salt and pepper. We're going to Port St. Lucie to see our Mets today. We're going to, what's that called, Rich? Tailgate. Tailgate with some of our friends, so I'm gonna bring these tacos. First thing I wanna do is get my meat into a bowl. I'm gonna mix up all of my spices. Get some of the spice mix on the meat. Salt and pepper, of course. I'm gonna mix up that meat. Get all of the meat seasoned. This is very tasty tacos. You can do it on Taco Tuesday. You can do it to go see a Met game, whenever you like. First thing we have to do is a little olive oil in the pan. And we're going to get our meat brown. I'm, I'm gonna cook this meat through. I'm gonna brown it, and while I brown it, I'm gonna cut up my pepper, my garlic, and my onion. Woo! The meat is all brown. So I'm gonna drain it. I don't want I don't, I don't want the tacos to be oily. I want them to be tasty, not oily. So I just have my strainer in the sink with a bowl underneath it. I'm gonna go back to the stove with the same skillet, put in my peppers and my onions. That's my whole poblano pepper. I remove the seeds and the veins. A little salt and pepper. I'm not going to add my garlic until my pepper and my onions are all soft. This is what I want. I want a little bit of a char on the vegetables. I want them really soft. But now I'm gonna add my garlic.
Let the garlic cook for about 30 seconds. Smells heavenly. I love that smell. Just keep moving it around. Gonna put my meat back in. There was a lot of oil that came out of the meat. See this, Rich? Yeah. I don't want all that oil in the pan. Gonna lower the heat. Add the water. The diced tomatoes with the juice. A splash of apple cider vinegar. The rest of my seasoning. Some cilantro. And a little more salt and pepper. Now you can see that this is a little too watery for tacos. So we're gonna let it simmer until most of the water is absorbed. We don't want it too dry and we don't want it too soupy. So <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how long it will take. It all depends on your stove just watch it, keep moving it around while you're setting up all of your toppings and setting the table and getting ready to eat. This is how we like it. It's a little wet, but it's not soupy. Now I'm gonna have to pack this all up and take it with us. But I certainly want to taste it. I couldn't possibly go and give this to my friends and not taste it. Mm, that is so good. This is how I would make tacos for myself. Take some corn chips put them in the bottom. Then I take my cheese because I want the meat to melt the cheese. Take some taco meat. Put it right on top. Some tomatoes. Red onion, sour cream, and lettuce. A little cilantro on the top. Now that's a bowl of delicious. I want to get a bite of everything. Got some corn chips and meat and cheese, tomatoes. Oh yeah. Everybody at the Met game is going to love this. Let's go Mets. <laughs> 